how's your mama doing but uh <laughs> what's up everybody afro joe here the wookie now people heard about this uh miss miss usa contra what a like this whole bullshit about how miss usa miss pennsylvania called it out and said that said that uh the contest was rigged that it was fake that it was not real like all oh, that she saw the shit that she saw the the winners list and then a witness saw the winners list too and Donald Trump stood up here and said well if she doesn't apologize to me in 24 hours no 48 hours two days that he was going to sue now now everybody's got to step back for a minute everybody's got to step back for a minute this girl goes on national TV and sticks her neck out there on the line and said the contest is rigged. Now there's some heavy duty shit. This is like, it's like Afro Joe, it's just a contest. Yes, it is a contest. When there's money involved, you got to think, think this shit serious. Some shit serious, but it's like this though. She goes on national TV. <sighs> tells the American people that the contest was rigged there was a winner's list <laughs> like no duh like cause I really hate those beauty pads and shit because it's not real to me cause I was like okay I don't mind seeing half naked women in front of me as long as I get the feel on them but uh but it's like this though why would Donald Trump see this is this is where Donald Trump fucked up it's like this this girl goes on national TV and say Donald Trump is for, is scamming people and cheating people and I saw the winners list and a friend saw the winners list so another contestant of the show saw the winners list instead of sitting there proving that she's a fucking liar he goes after you gotta apologize in 48 hours if not I was who motherfucker you're dumb as fuck. You're telling everybody, oh, yes, well, yes, well, it is a con. We did con people. Yes, it was fixed. Yes. We had winners before the contest even started. See what I'm saying? You was not, like, to me, he's, he did not make himself look any, look any better by throwing his lawsuit shit around. Because one thing is, if he wanted to make himself look good, he could have let this girl continue to run her mouth. Only guilty people, only guilty people would sit there and do some silly shit like this. I'm going to sue you if you don't buy Guilty. <laughs> you was guilty. What, like for me, what is that with Donald Trump? With black, what's with Donald Trump with black folks? transvestites and women that's three things I want to know what is up with him with black folks women and transvestites or transgender does he hate black folks does he hate pussy that's, that's what I'm starting to think he hates pussy oh Afro he's married he's got a little son and does this man hate pussy is he that mad that he is he that backed up where he hating on pussy? That's the question. Now y'all gotta think about this, y'all. This girl puts her neck out on the line. Cause ain't no oh, she just bitter because she didn't win. She just jealous because it's now hold on, hold on. Out of all the beauty contests, beauty pageants out there, you're never seen a contestant coming out the woodworks saying oh they're cheating people out of their shit that they're cheating women out of the, out of a lot of things like uh they cheating a lot of women out of a lot of things like like they really worked hard to do to get their bodies in shape and have everything looking 
this making themselves look good. And I'm sitting up here, man. I say, ain't no woman go fuck her shit up like that. Ain't no woman go fuck her shit up like that. And it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up because it's kind of fucked up because he he really didn't mind trying to make himself look good. All he did was make every time I hear something about this. And how he keeps going to sue this woman. It keeps making me think he's guilty. He's very guilty that he has something against certain people. If ain't nobody kissing his ass. If ain't nobody kissing his ass. He wants to take him to court. Now you got this one girl. Miss Pennsylvania. Saying that he's had this whole damn thing fixed. Now. If I was in his position, like I said before, if I had a girl, when these women come out and say, oh, the contest was fixed, I would have let her run her mouth. See, that would have made me say, if they would ask me, say, oh, Mr. Alfro Joe, uh, what do you have to say about the accusations about this, uh, about Miss Pennsylvania saying that this contest was fixed? I said, look, man, just let her run her mouth. It's like this thing blow over. Let the investigators do their little job, do their job, and we just go on about our lives. It's like, look, if she thinks that the that if she thinks that the contest is fixed, that's her. I really can't say nothing because I didn't do nothing. I said, no, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't do nothing. Just let her think that. Do what, she, do what she, so she can do what's right. If she has a problem, she could have came to me. I would have fixed it, whatever. I wouldn't be separate. If she doesn't pop, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, motherfucker. You don't tell nobody. Because to me, when you make threat, if you don't apologize to me in certain amount of days, certain amount of days, and I will sue you, that's threatening, man. What, what the fuck's wrong with you threatening people? I'm going to sue you because of what she said about the contest being rigged. That's kind of fucked up, man. You stood to a new law. That you're going to sit there and sue this girl over because what she said. Because she said that she thinks the pageant was fixed. Now, if this second person that, said, that she said saw the list comes out and say, Well, I did see it and it's real. You're pretty much screwed, buddy. You're pretty much screwed. And a few more people come over and say, Oh, I've seen the list too. Motherfucker, that's a lawsuit. You can't sue this woman for saying, I think this contest, contest or this pageant is fixed. And that she needs to apologize. No, 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 no. You got to think about it the other way around. She calling your ass out saying it's fixed. So that, that means... She can sue you for bullshit. <laughs> Cause that's stupid. That's stupid to sit up there if you don't apologize. Now, one, who makes threats like that, man? For real. If you don't apologize to me in the 48 hours, I'm going to sue you? Like, you want to sue me because I said the shit was fixed? That's... No, 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 motherfucker. You don't... Pull shit like that just to make yourself look good. I'm gonna sue you because you said the shit was fixed. Motherfucker, that's because it was fixed. If a girl said it was fixed and has somebody to back her up, man, then it's fucking fixed. You don't get butt hurt and start threatening to sue this girl because she said it was fixed. That's bullshit. I'm going to sue you because you said... I'm going to sue you because you didn't apologize. I don't... Like, for real? You going to really take this girl to court just because she didn't say, I'm sorry? I apologize? If you go, man, I, I think the judge needs to sit there and take one big-ass laugh. <laughs> like, laugh at that shit. Because I would... If I was the judge that got that girl... Had this case landed on my desk... First thing I do, I laugh my ass. I was like, "Dude, are you really smoking? What is you smoking?" And let me have some. 
because it makes no sense like it makes no sense on how he's threatening to sue this girl for something that's so ridiculous so stupid It makes it makes no sense. That she gonna sue this girl over nothing, man. Because she wanna apologize to you? Come on, get off your ass and quit being such a little bitch. Damn man, is yo you must see like I said, man. Donald Trump's got too much free time on his hands. That's all that is, dude. He got too much free time on his hands. Because if he didn't have free time on his hands, so, so much free time on his hands, he wouldn't be talking shit about the President of the United States. He wouldn't be sitting up there hating on pussy because, or trying to get an apology out of a girl that said that the pageant was rigged. That's how it is, man. I ain't gonna, like, for real. <laughs> Are you gonna, like, like, I don't get that. Like, for real? Like, motherfucker, what, what, what the fuck you smoking? Just because she went out down the lane, went out there on national TV saying, oh, it's rigged, oh, the pageant was rigged. Oh, it was rigged because whatever like I saw the paper and had the witness had the uh, had the uh, it had the winners names on it and all this and that like for real do you, like I don't get that for real I really don't get this people people explain to me why would anybody would take somebody to court and over apology that's that's kind of stupid I, I would love to sit off in that courtroom and just listen to that whole court case I would love to see that I would love to see that like I would love to sit here like love to sit there and watch that whole case just fall apart Because it makes no sense. It makes no sense that this person, like, for real though. I saw, like, because I've heard some stupid shit, but never this stupid. Never this stupid where that this guy that somebody, I ain't never seen somebody go to court I'm gonna sue this person because he didn't he needs to apologize so you gonna take his money because he apologized to you for real are you <laughs> like how many judges <coughs> excuse me but if I was a judge like I said man i will be like uh case dismissed cause it's stupid you can't really take it to Supreme Court because they're going to laugh about it. And I'm going to take it to the Supreme Court. What they going to do is just laugh at you and think and look at you and say, you know what, you stupid. That's all they're going to say. You stupid. They ain't going to say this girl stupid. They're going to say you stupid. And that's all that is to it, man. Like I, for real, man, like I said before, like I said before, like I said before, if there's a girl that actually comes out of the woodwork and says that the whole contest was a sham and was a fake, I think that they should have did an investigation. I think they should have did something about it instead of letting this man sit up here and talk shit threaten to, uh, threaten to sue this girl over something so pathetic like for real though man I ain't never in my life 
I ain't never thought this. Never in my life ever thought about this. To see where to see a person get so mad. Get so mad over a girl saying, Okay, it's fake, it's not real, it was rigged. I don't really like for real, like for real, uh, uh, is, is Donald Trump really that slow in the fucking head? Is he that slow? Was he dropped on his head when he was a kid? Did he eat paint chips as a child or as an infant? Because you, you gotta ask this question, it's like this dude is really smoking. gotta be smoking because there's no way in hell you gonna sue somebody over a fucking apology that's all that is too and I like cause I ain't gonna sit there I'm gonna go walk up to somebody I'm gonna sue you because you ain't apologize somebody stepped on my shoe if somebody stepped on my shoe I'm not gonna say oh I'm gonna sue you because you didn't say I'm sorry for stepping on your shoe And that's all that is to it. That's all that is to it. It's stupid, man. Why? For real. See, this this is a problem. See, look, this is why I hate rich folks. This is why I hate rich folks. You take this for example. When they get too much time on their hands, they ain't got nothing else to do but bitch and complain about the stupidest shit on earth. You got Donald Trump want to take this woman to court because she won't kiss his ass to say I'm sorry. Plus, you got Donald Trump hating on black folks like we some like we something like black folks are something. Then he hates on transgender, so that makes him a homophobe. So he's a racist towards women, transgenders, and blacks, and Hispanic, and people that won't kiss his ass. Like, if he wins this damn court hearing, if he does, it shows the world how much of a dick and a booty ass he is, and it will show how much of an asshole he is, that, and then if he wins, if he wins this court case, this will show how much I've been telling the truth about rich folks. I'm for real. If he wins this court case, court case over this girl, it will it will show how much truth I've been telling that rich folks has nothing else to do. It actually tell tell the people the truth about how much of a racist Donald Trump is, because there is no way. In hell, somebody's going to take another person to court because they didn't say, I'm sorry, or I apologize. It makes no fucking sense. It is stupid. It's ridiculous. It's just dumb. It shows that he has nothing else to do but pick a fucking fight. Instead of him bullshitting, why don't he step into a boxing ring and, and somebody box his fucking head up? Because I'm tired of him Pulling bullshit on. Ooh, every day is something new with him. If if he's that bored, if if Donald Trump is that bored, why don't he just do YouTube videos? That's the question. Why don't he just go out and just start doing YouTube videos instead of bullshitting on national TV? Cause if he goes and do YouTube videos, he would that would probably put a stop to that bullshit that he's doing on national TV. Cause I'm tired of hearing him. Oh, she's gotta apologize. If not, blah blah blah. Motherfucker, sit your bitch ass hairpiece wearing ass down. Cause it's getting on my nerves that that that's all he's been doing. That, that all he wants to do is sit up there and bitch over a little petty shit. 
That's all it is. That's all it is. That's I, I just don't get it, man. He it's it's all he wants to do is bullshit. I think I think this, they they should laugh at it. That the judge the judge should sit, should just sit there and just like be like be like, you know what? I don't even want to spend my time on this case dismissed. It's not even worth it. But um, this has been Afro Joe. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Cillo Jr. 2, Cillo Jr. 3. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass and burn in hell. If you like what I got to say, leave a video response, a uh, reply, or uh, and holler at me. Peace. Just stupid.